Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to free up memory on Kodi or XBMC. Now the problem many users are facing is that they are running Kodi on a device with eight gigabytes of memory, and then they get a message saying, please delete some apps and stuff like that. So basically, what happens is every time you watch a video on Kodi, certain thumbnails get downloaded to your system and you don't even know it's there. Now, a few thumbnails won't really take much space, but throughout time, it can really add up and you may have over five gigabytes of thumbnails on your device and you don't even know it's there. So hopefully this video will help many of you guys out to recover that space. So as you can see here, my data is currently on 143 megabytes because I have done this so many times before making this video. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show you a before and after, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Go ahead and launch application. Scroll all the way to system and select file manager. Select add source. And now what you're going to do is type in exactly what you see on my screen. Then you want to go ahead and give it a name. For example, no issue. You can name it whatever you guys want, but let's just stick to no issue so we know what it is. All right, after you have typed all of that in, select OK. And now you want to head all the way back and select Settings this time. Scroll down to Add-ons. Select install from zip file. And now you want to locate that no issue URL that we just added. So we named it no issue. Select that. Select maintenance. And now we want to install repository.rawmaintenance.zip. I know that's a typo, but just select that one. And within a couple seconds, you will get a message saying add on enabled, at which point we can proceed to the next step. All right, there you go. Now we want to go into get add-ons, scroll down to raw media's Kodi add-ons, select it, select program add-ons, and we want to install raw maintenance. So select it, select install, and wait for it to finish. After it has finished, you will get a message saying add-on enabled, and now we can back out all the way and select programs. Select program add-ons. If yours looks different, just try to look for raw maintenance. Select it. Now select maintenance. And here we have these three options. We're gonna do all of them, but I'm gonna show you guys a particular order and I'll explain why I want you guys to do it that way. However, you can do it any way you want. Just don't blame me for any damage you may have caused for your device. I'm just kidding guys, this is completely safe. So the first option I recommend is clear cache. So you're gonna select this blonde girl right here, clear cache, select yes, and then select okay. So basically what she's gonna do is come into your device and dust it off. That's what she's gonna do. Next, you wanna go ahead and hit purge packages, select yes, and select okay. What she's gonna do is take out the trash. So she comes into your device, she takes out the trash. Last but not least, we want to select delete thumbnails. This is the most important one because this is what takes up the most space on your device. So select delete thumbnails, select yes. And now you're gonna get a message saying, please restart XBMC. So basically this is why I select that last because if you were to select this first, you would have to restart XBMC and then select the other two options. That will take a long time. So just do it in this particular order and you'll be fine. Now I forgot to explain what she does. She basically comes into your device and gets rid of everything you no longer use. So make sure you select her, hit okay. 
and now you can proceed to restarting your device. Now the easiest way on the Amazon Fire TV is to select the home button, go all the way to Kodi, and just do four stop. That's it, you just cleared everything from your device. Again, I wasn't able to provide a before and after. As you can see, my data is still on 145, nothing has changed. But that's only because I've done this several times before making this video. You guys, if you have over one gigabyte, maybe even five gigabytes of data, you're gonna notice a huge difference when you perform these steps. Normally, I would recommend you guys to just look at the data and make sure you keep it low. Um, maybe you can try doing this once a week, once a month. I don't know what your guys' usage is like, so just do it as often as you feel needed and you should be fine. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found this helpful. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more videos like this. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video.